if the domain of the function f of x is equal to log 2x plus 3 upon 4x square plus x minus 3 plus cos inverse of 2x minus 1 upon x plus 2 is given as alpha comma beta where alpha is excluded and beta is included then find the value of 5 times beta minus 4 times alpha and here we can see that the logarithm of this number must be greater than 0 to define the function and again cos inverse x we can say cos inverse x is equal to theta where x is defined for minus 1 to plus 1 so here we can say that this 2x minus 1 must be lies between minus 1 and plus 1 so let us use these two conditions and then solve it first let us consider logarithm function log 2x plus 3 upon 4x square plus x minus 3 is defined when 2x plus 3 upon 4x square plus x minus 3 is greater than 0 so let us simplify it 4x square plus x minus 3 in factorization you can get 4x square plus 4x minus 3x minus 3 4x of x plus 1 minus 3 of x plus 1 so we can write x plus 1 into 4x minus 3 so we can write here 2x plus 3 divided by x plus 1 into 4x minus 3 is greater than 0 so by using the wavy curve let us mark the critical points where the numerator and denominator will become 0 so 2x plus 3 is 0 that is 2x plus 3 will be 0 when x is equal to minus 3 by 2 and x plus 1 will be 0 at x is equal to minus 1 and 4x minus 3 is 0 when x is equal to 3 upon 4 let's mark these points first comes here minus 3 by 2 and again minus 1 and then plus 3 by 4 and the curve can be taken from positive from the right side at x is equal to 3 by 4 it stops and again see all are having the odd powers when there is an odd power there is a sign change from positive to negative and again at x is equal to minus 1 again we have the odd power so it changes from negative to positive and again it stops at minus 3 by 2 so again the odd power is its odd power so it changes from positive to negative and here we can say that this expression is positive in the interval so x must belongs to minus 3 by 2 to minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 union 3 by 4 to infinity say so this is 1 now cos inverse of 2x minus 1 upon x plus 2 is defined when 2x minus 1 upon x plus 2 lies between minus 1 and plus 1 so let's consider 2x minus 1 upon x plus 2 is greater than or equals to minus 1 and 2x minus 1 upon x plus 2 is less than or equals to 1 we can have 2x minus 1 upon x plus 2 plus 1 is greater than or equals to 0 and 2x minus 1 upon x plus 2 minus 1 is less than or equals to 0 that is 2x minus 1 plus x plus 2 upon x plus 2 is greater than or equals to 0 2x minus 1 minus x minus 2 upon x plus 2 is less than or equals to 0 so here we can write 2x plus x that is 3x plus 1 upon x plus 2 
is greater than or equals to 0 and here it is x minus 3 upon x plus 2 is greater than less than or equals to 0. So we can see that separately in the two line solutions 3x plus 1 the critical point is x is equal to minus 1 by 3 and x plus 2 is minus 2. So we can say x is equal to minus 2 comes here and minus 1 by 3 and we required greater than or equals to 0 since they are having positive odd powers. So we can say that by wavy curve method we can give that solution x belongs to minus infinity to minus 2. 2 is excluded here. We cannot consider 2 which is in the denominator. So union and again 1 by 3 to so minus 1 by 3 is included since it is in the numerator. So minus 3 minus 1 upon 3 to infinity. And coming to the later case. Here there are two roots here. X minus 3 means X is equal to 3 and X plus 2 means X is equal to minus 2. So here minus 2 and plus 3. And again they are having odd powers. So it changes from positive to negative. So and we need less than or equals to 0. So we can consider that the solution X belongs to minus 2 to 3. Whether 3 can be included and minus 2 is excluded which is in the denominator. So from this both we can consider because from the both if the points are taken minus infinity minus 2 minus 1 by 3 and again 3 to infinity the first solution is minus infinity to minus 2 and again minus in 1 by 3 to infinity and again the second solution we can give here minus 2 to 3 the second solution minus 2 to 3 from this both we can consider x belongs to minus 1 upon 3 comma 3 so minus 1 by 3 can be included and 3 can be included make this as 2 from 1 minus 3 by 2 to minus 1 union 3 by 4 to infinity and from 2 x belongs to minus 1 by 3 comma 3 so from this both we can conclude minus 3 by 2 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 3 upon 4 and 3 so minus infinity to plus infinity so in the first case we can say that minus 3 by 2 to 1 and again 3 by 4 to infinity and in the second case minus 1 by 3 to 3 so we can say minus 1 by 3 to 3 so where 3 is included and 1 by 3 is excluded here so we can just 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 is excluded here so we can finally say that so which implies x belongs to 3 by 4 comma 3 where 3 is included and 3 by 4 is excluded and it is given the domain of the function that is the domain so domain of the function is alpha comma beta where beta is included and alpha is excluded so alpha is equal to 3 by 4 and beta is equal to 3 so therefore 5 times beta minus 4 times alpha is equal to 5 into 3 minus 4 into 3 by 4 so that is 15 minus 12 sorry uh, 15 minus 3 will get 15 minus 3 is equal to 12 so 12 is the answer which is option 2